Now in this session, we are going to work on all payments. Before that, let me just show you whatever we have done. Okay, I'll just show you the demo. Now this is my demo project. First, I'm just going to log in using user. Okay, I have already registered this user. So I'm just going to log in using this. I'll click on login, successfully logged in and I am redirected to profile page. Now here when I click on pending orders, okay, you have zero pending orders. I don't have any orders for this one. Edit account, I can do my orders. I can see all my orders. You can see only one order and the status is paid. Okay, which means I have completed the payment. So inside pending orders, I'm having zero pending orders. Now I'll just click on explore products. Now before that, let me just duplicate this one and I'll just come to admin page. I'll just open admin area. I'll just open admin area and inside this first I'm just going to log in using admin one two three four login successfully logged in now here I'll just click on all orders only one order is been displayed you can see inside this user let me come to my account my orders this entire order whatever this user is having okay, this order admin can see now what I'm going to do I'll just come to home and here I'm just going to order this one add to cart okay one item is added to cart now here I'll just click on checkout and here I'll just do pay offline. Orders are submitted successfully. Now you have one pending orders. Now when I click on this, you can see totally two orders I'm having. All the orders will be displayed. Now for this first one, the complete, okay, payment is paid. So here I'm having paid. And for this second one, here I'm having incomplete and here I'm having this confirmation. Now I'll come to admin. Now I'll just refresh this one. You can see two orders has been displayed. And for first one, I'm having complete as status. And for second, I'm having pending. Admin can see for which order the payment is completed and for which order it is pending. Okay, this is what admin can see. Now, when I click on this all payments, for whichever the payment is done and using what payment mode the payment is done, that will be displayed. You can see only for this, okay, 357. I'll come here. You can see only for this 357, the payment is done. So when I click on this all payments, only that particular data will be displayed to admin. Okay, not all the orders, only for whichever the payment is done, only for that the data will be displayed. Now I'll come here. Now I'll just click on confirm. Here I'll just select net banking, confirm. Now for this both you can see status is paid, status is paid and for both it is complete. Now I'll come here. Now when I just click on all orders, you can see both the status are complete now. Now when I click on all payments, you can see both I can see. Okay, all the options whatever data I'm having inside that payment that I can see here. Okay, this is how we are going to work. And in our previous session, we have seen this one, all orders, all the orders are displayed. And I told you to perform this delete because this delete operation we have seen plenty of times. Okay, while inserting the products, while editing the products, while editing categories. Okay, we have seen plenty of times. Okay, this you can just refer the previous videos and you have to follow the same process. You don't have to do any extra things follow the same process or, or you can apply your own concepts and you can do this delete operation. Okay, now we are done with this all orders. Okay, if I am not having any orders, then I will be getting this, this entire table row will be displayed. So I don't need that one. So for that, what you have to do, just copy this entire echo, cut from here and inside this else, paste that one. Okay, this is the only thing you have to perform. In this project, I cannot show this one because I have not performed delete operation. I'll just refresh this one. Now, if I just come to database, I'll just come to user orders table. And from here, let me just delete this one. Okay, then you will be able to see that. Now, here I'm just going to delete this one. I'll just come to operations. And from here, I'm just going to empty the table. Now I'll just come to my project. Now I'll refresh this one. You can see no orders yet. Okay, if you want to remove background color, if you just want to give the color, then also you can do. I think I have given the background color. Let me just check. Okay, I have given BG danger. I just have to give it text danger. I'll save this. Now I'll refresh this one. Now you can see no orders yet. If user orders, the order will be displayed here. Okay, now we are going to work on all payments. In the same way how we have performed for list orders, we are just going to do in the same way. I'll just come to admin area. Inside this, I'll just come to index.php. And here, first I'm having this all payments. You can see all payments. I'll just write here index.php. Question mark. Let me just write here list payments. Okay, whatever name you want, you can give. I'm just going to give list payments.php. 
okay we should not give here php because this is the get variable i'll just copy this one and below this let me just paste that one i'll copy this entire line and below this i'm just going to paste i'll cut from here and in place of this one i'm just going to paste that and also here i'm just going to paste that i'll just copy this entire file name inside admin area i'm just going to create that file okay list payments.php now what i have done whenever this get variable is active whatever data i'm having inside this file that should be included inside index.php let me just write here hi i'll save i'll refresh this one now when i click on this all payments you can see here i'm having hi and also this list payment variable is active okay now let me just remove this one now in the same way i'm just going to do i'll just come to list orders i'll just do control a and i'm just going to copy the entire thing and inside this i'm just going to paste that one okay if you're not aware what we have done you just have to refer list orders okay it is very very simple i have just displayed one table and i have just written one simple query selecting all the orders from the orders table okay now let me just come here now i'll refresh this one you can see no orders yet okay the same data has been displayed for list payment as well now i don't need this one i just have to show all the payments here okay instead of displaying orders i just have to show the payments let me just come here inside this one we are having this user payment inside this user payments all the payments will be stored as of now i don't have anything so here i'm this table is blank but if i just come to demo project if i just click on user payments you can see two payments are done so two data is been displayed so first what i am going to do first let me just order something i'll just duplicate this one and inside this let me just come to index.php file and from here i'll just log in using one user i'll just write here kanam okay this is my original project login login successful okay i am redirected to profile page of kanam here kanam is not having any orders and when i click on my orders kanam will not be having any orders okay in the same way how we have displayed this one okay if you are not having any orders you can just write here no pending orders or no orders yet instead of displaying this table row you can just display that one okay these are the small fixes you can do by yourself now i'll just come to home and from here i'm just going to order this one and also i'm just going to order this now i'll just come to cart i'll click on checkout pay offline orders are submitted successfully now when i click on this orders you can see one payment okay one order has been submitted total two products i have ordered that has been displayed and you can see here i am having incomplete because i have not done the payment now i'll just come to all orders now that one order i can see but when i click on this all payments the same data whatever i am having inside list orders that data will be displayed because i have written the same code now let me just remove here i'll just write here all payments i'll save this now i'll refresh this one now this is the all orders page now when i click on all payments you can see all payments now only thing is i'm just going to change the table name i'll come here i'll refresh this one still payment is not done so this table will be empty so first what i'm going to do i'm just going to do one payment i'll just click on confirm i'll just select here cash on delivery confirm okay now you can see complete and here i'm having as paid now here i'll come i'll refresh this one that pending is changed to complete now when i click on all payments before that let me just refresh this one now that one payment is stored inside this table now this table data i'm just going to display here whenever admin clicks on this all payments whatever data we are having inside that table that should be displayed here so here what i'm going to do i'm just going to remove this and just write here payments user payments let me just check for the table name i'll come here and here i'm having user payments okay the same thing i have written i'll just write here get payments copy paste rest everything is same count and here i'll just write here no payments at no payments received at now i just want to display this one i don't want to display this i want to display serial number invoice number i want to display the amount i'll just remove this one and what amount i have received i just want to display that one i want to display the payment mode i want to display the payment mode okay using which mode the user has done the payment 
and also i want to see the order date i just write here order date what did the user has ordered and finally here we are having delete okay only these three columns i just have to display now i will be getting error if i refresh so i'm not going to do that one here everything will be same now instead of this i'm just going to fetch the data from this table okay we are having payment id we are having order id invoice number order id we are having then here i'm just going to write payment id payment id i copy and here i'm just going to paste then i am having uh, invoice number amount payment mode invoice number i am having here let me just remove this and i'll just keep here amount invoice number amount invoice number payment mode only payment mode i'll just remove this entire thing and here i am just going to write payment mode payment mode i'll copy and here i'm just going to paste then we are having this number then after number i just have to display let me just see after number i want to display invoice number i'll copy this invoice number and inside this i'm just going to paste i'll just remove this after invoice number i'm having amount i'll copy this amount and here i'll be pasting that one after that i have displayed payment mode i'll copy this payment mode and here i'll be pasting that one then finally i'm having order date order date okay let me just write for order date as well i'll just write here date i'll just write date and here also i'm just going to write date i'll copy this and here i'm just going to paste that one okay rest everything is same i'll save this now i'll come here now i'll just refresh this one okay you can see one payment is done whatever data i am having inside the table that is been displayed here okay i have just done the simple changes i have just changed the table name rest everything is same if you have watched the previous video then this is very very easy to understand i have just copied the entire thing i have pasted here and i have just done the same thing here i have just done the same thing and delete operation as i told you you can perform by yourself because we have seen this plenty and plenty of times and i don't want to waste your time okay i have just fetched all the data and i have wrapped inside while loop because if i am having multiple payments that payments also i can fetch so i have wrapped inside while loop and this i have written before while loop because only one time i have to print that row i don't want to print again and again so i have just displayed that one okay this is how we are going to display the payments table now i'll come here i'll just come here i'll refresh this one now when i click on all orders all the orders whatever user is having that will be displayed let me just order one more thing i'll just order this 50 rupees cart check out pay offline orders are submitted successfully now two orders i'm having one and 50 rupees okay that is dairy milk now i'll come to admin i'll click on all orders you can see that order is also displayed but when i click on all payments only one payment will be displayed because for this one for this dairy milk i have not done any payment so that payment will not be displayed only one payment will be displayed you can see only for one payment only this particular payment will be displayed for me okay this is how we are going to work with admin admin can see the orders admin can delete the orders admin can see the payments and also admin can delete the payments if it is already done or if it is very long so admin can delete that one as well okay we are done with this all orders all payments as i told you delete you are going to perform by yourself next we are going to perform with list users how many users are using this website that we can list okay we are going to work on that from next session